Infrastructural development in the Grandfour constituency is one which is high on the list of projects outlined to be undertaken by the parliamentary representative Ivor Stevenson during this term of office. Our news crew went to the village of Monjon where we witnessed ongoing works on the Monjon main road. We have had this concern about the road for a very long time right now. We are lucky to have this government doing some very good work on this road to serve the people of, of, of Mount John. Being the parliament for this constituency, I would really like to see that the entire road surface, the main road surface of Mount John is improved upon so that the people of this village will enjoy life better. Rehabilitation of this main road had been viewed as necessary and an asset to the residents who use the road on a daily basis. This road has been in a dilapidated situation for quite a number of years and it's a great asset to the community because this is the main entrance of the village from the bus stop to the top of the village. It was bad and a lot of holes. People were complaining a lot of time, you know. Over the past two months, this road project has generated short-term employment to young persons in the Monjon community. Me, as a young person employed on this project, I feel good, you know, knowing that some years down the line I will tell my children I, I worked on this Monjon government road and, you know. Very, I'm thankful of the road that is going on there right now because we have to say thanks for the first care because we let us have this road for, for 30, 40 years back. We never have a good road like this one, this present time that we have a good road and also got, we have a good parallel also with us. Several other roads will be rehabilitated as part of the efforts geared at improving access and making it more convenient for residents of the Grand Four constituency. We also have the, the Mangro area in Grand Four that is also critical and, and people who have lands in these areas have been talking about these areas um, and especially the road in the area for development. So I also see these access roads as very, very critical for, for, for Grand Four. We see that there is the importance of improving the road conditions in the Foyal area, especially in the, the area that serves the, the, the major part of the community. And sometime last year, we, we got some assistance from the government in terms of improving the main road leading into Foyal. We want to see in this constituency an extension to this road from the, from the community moving into the, the farming section of this community, which takes us into the Mushipi area. And also, we have another part of the section of the road. Mm -hmm. And this road takes us from Foyal into Mushipi and Mon Frigad, mm -hmm. then the area. This road was, was done some time ago, but then there is need for serious repairs to the road surface. There is need for resurfacing in some areas and the whole question of maintaining the road. A lot of attention is being placed on the development of infrastructure in some key areas in the Grand Four constituency. This road, normally referred to as the River Maha Road, uh, is a very critical road in, in River Zurich. It, it provides access to the River Zurich Health Center the village council office going in that direction. We have also the playing field in that direction and also a recently rehabbed building that is the disaster shelter formerly known as the River Street Community Hall. Um, also we have in this area access to a very important tourist site and that is Secret Beach. So that road is very critical in terms of its development for the people in this area. For sure I'm really Angry. I was a little bit angry to see the completion of this road, the Rosalie Pedisufre Link Road. I mean, from since I've been a kid, I've been hearing about that road going to be, um, be, be built, and then um, it only took this government to come and work on this road. We now turn our attention to health. With a wealth of experience in the field of health, the Honorable Stevenson highlighted his plans for health in his constituency. My interest is also in environment and health. Um, there is need for focus on the, on the environment in terms of in, ensuring that we have that pristine environment that would encourage um, tourism activities in the area. We would like to see improved garbage disposal practices. Although this community, these communities are generally clean, but we really wish to go for the, for the best in ensuring that we have very good gar garbage disposal practices. We would also want to see improvements in the water supply in, in Mount John. There are times when sometimes the water quality um, is not the best and also the, the quantity is not always the best for the people. So we're hoping that um, there will be improvements um, in these areas so that the lives of the people in this constituency are much better. Tourism development came into sharp focus. Currently, tourism plays a significant role in generating income for persons in that constituency. 
Ojia and his crew went on location to experience the much talked about tourist attraction, The Secret Beach. In particular, um, I want to say that the Grand Four, Monjon, and River Sick areas, there is very high tourism potential areas. We saw the, the Secret Beach area, and we, we have other areas such as the Denny Falls, we have the, the Abawaven Civic area, we have the Rosalie River, which is also a very good site for river bathing, river tubing, and we have several other areas in, in these areas within the constituency that can encourage tourism activities. The enhancement of the tourism sector is critical, as outlined by Honorable Stevenson. So within this term, I would really like to work with the communities, work with interest groups and other individuals, and see how best we can, we can bring better tourism into this area. And I know for sure that the Rosalie Pilate Sufria Link Road will really help to enhance and improve tourism activities in the constituency, mm -hmm. taking in, into consideration they are, all, they are already um, Devel developmental projects like the like the hotel in, in the in the Rosalie area and, and others within within that area. Now let's take a look at the plans for sports and education as outlined by Pal Rep Ivor Stevenson. Playing fields, this is where young persons escape to. With an improved and enhanced playing field, this will surely encourage more young persons to participate in sporting activities. For Monjon in particular, we have a group of young men in Monjon who have been, year after year, been engaging in sporting activities and this is the Bobcat team. Um, it's a very, it's, a, it's more or less a group of young guys who have been engaged in football and cricket activities for the year. And um, I know that they'll be happy to know that um, plans for improving the playing field would be high on the agenda. The youth of the Grandford community has been articulating the need for a much improved sporting facility. The dream of having a proper place to recreate and engage in sporting activities is not far from becoming a reality. Grandfather youth have been, um, year after year, been requesting um, need for improved sporting facilities. And um, we have seen the commencement of work on the Grandfather playing field. And um, this is something I know that the Grandfather people are long awaiting. So as we go out through the, throughout the year, we expect to see the completion of the, of the sporting facility and uh, improvements of road access to the facility that would facilitate um, easy access and also ensure that there is max, maximum use of the facility in Grand Farm. Now we turn our attention to education. As far as education is concerned, Honorable Stevenson highlights what he envisions for his people. Um, when we move through Grand Farm, um, uh, we will we'll really realize that there are quite a number of young people here we really wish to see that they have increased education, especially in the area of um, secondary and um, tertiary. Well, now that we have universal secondary education, I know that a lot of our primary school children can now access the, the secondary schools. And even so, um, they have transportation to, to the secondary schools for provision of, of buses in these areas. Mm -hmm. What I would like to see the further aspect of that, the other level whereby the people um, who are graduating from the colleges can access other teacher ed educational institutions. And I'd really like to see that um, a certain percentage of our young people can get the opportunity to improve their, their education and uh, earn, um, have a better standard of living and get back to their homes and communities and, and make that, contrib that contribution of development to, 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 their, to their constituency. Agriculture is viewed as a reliable source of income to the people of this area. Improvement of access roads and implementation of various farming practices is a key aspect in the development of the agricultural sector in this constituency. As I said earlier, we have the Hotel Road. That is one of the areas where there is need for, for improvements on the road because um, since some of the farmers and the farmers left these areas, we are now seeing that um, um, there is need for improving the surfaces of the road so that farmers will be encouraged to get there and plant the non banana crops. In, in Grand Farm, we have access to the to the Tiguan for area. That is also another very critical route for the farmers of Grand Farm. I would like to see improvements in the, in the, in the, in the, in the road surface of, of, of the Grand Farm, Tiguan for area, and also further expansion and extension of the road. Um, as the people in the, in the Grand Farm told me that there, there is need for, for adjoining that road to Grand Farm, I think that would make it very critical as an, an, an alternative access route um, to sections of Grand Farm. Um, I wish to see during this term of office that the people of this constituency are engaged in, in not only banana farming practices, 
but non banana the farming practices to include um, root crops such as um, dashing and, um, plant, and not sorry, the planting botanias and yams. Quite a few of our farmers, given the, given the assistance, would be willing to go back into non banana farming practices and earn income that would help them to live better. The critical area of housing. The improvement of the standard of living and living conditions of persons in this constituency is another area of major focus and importance for the Honourable Ivor Stevenson. Housing is very important in this constituency and persons are already benefiting from that program. In Fuel, in Monjon, in Rio Suic, in Grandpa, a number of persons have already been benefiting and presently we are standing on the premises of one of our beneficiaries of this program and I know that having spoken to them they are very 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 happy having received um, assistance from government in, in that housing program. A number of persons came up with a number of needs for housing, housing repairs, roof repairs, I mean repairs to the, to the buildings in general, new buildings, uh, several needs were identified for housing in this constituency. As we walk through the constituency of Grand Fond, it is no surprise that in keeping with the Labour Party's goal and theme of taking Dominica to the next level, the Grand Fond constituency is now poised to be taken to the next level with Honourable Ivor Stevenson at the helm. <laughs>